So, in today's video we're going to show you some simple example with Mojito and why you should use it. For this test we have a normal person entity class, an abstract facade and a person facade. And we'll make a simple person test class. As you can see, this, um, this class is all empty and um, I've created them beforehand, so we can simply check the name in Subversion, so we can test this with, uh, with Jenkins. We are going to create a normal entity class, person, so we're going to write entity. And it will be some... Um, some really simple person with an ID and a name. And first we should we should write implements serializable. Right. So we this this ID we will we will generate. with the generation type identity oh we could import all the stuff from java java x persistence and now we will make the stuff that's in person um we we'll make a id and we need a name and then we should make a empty constructor like um oh. and then we need a one with the name the id we don't need the ID because it's it's generated. We don't. We just need the name. Um, beforehand, we should uh, create uh, getters and setters. Where is it? Encapsulate like fields. Yes. And then we should say um, okay. So this was the entity class, and now we move on to the abstract facade. It will be some with some simple create update delete functions. Uh, well, <clears throat> first we need of course. Uh, Entity manager. We will call this a uh, factory. Yes. And and now we need a get entity manager so we can use this in the person facade and I'll call this get entity manager <clears throat> no first we will see if this is null then we will say no, so um persistence create entity manager for this I have in the persistence XML I've already created a persistence unit I think well I say it's place wait so we'll wait yes and it's called mock PU 
we will take this, copy it, and insert it here. Um, and if it's not null, we will, yes, we will in every case return create entity manager. So, and what else do we need? Um, yes, and now we come to the methods that um, they that we want. Let's say we use um, create, and we use update. And delete and let's say we make um, delete all because later we will need this I'll explain later um, this doesn't need any parameters then we will need a, um, a get by D oh, no. let's call it get by key and we'll have to give it a key and then we will need a um a list of t's uh, it's, it's generic later we will um take this t and make it a person it could be every class but we will use the person and we will call this get all so now this oh yes list the util list okay um so this abstract facade is finished as well as the person class and now we move on to the person facade and here you can see we say extends abstract facade and instead of a t we we give it a person or a person class and now it already says we can implement all the abstract methods which we will do and now we, for the test cases, I'll um, overwrite the create and the update because you can all see it at this example with the mocking. It's all it's all the same, and I think create and update is it's already enough, so it doesn't be it uh, it won't be too long. And we will write uh, first we need. Uh, Stateless. Oh, no. Yes. Um, so in this create, we will need a new entity manager, and we say this is the get entity manager. Oh yes, I need to import, and then we say um, persist this object that we. Um, have in the parameter then we will say um, entity manager get transaction and begin so now it begins to the transaction oh wait I, I did something wrong I'm sorry um, in this we will persist this and when it's persisted we say the entity manager um, get transaction and then it commits into the database and afterwards we can close it <clears throat> and in the update method we will say um, again the same so we can copy this and then we can say um, instead of the persist persist is for new for new objects, or the, if we want to create uh, something, now we say we merge this, so all changes will be um, committed to the database. Because we don't need this, the rest. Now we'll go into the task class. I think we don't need anything. If we should need anything, we will create it afterwards. Um, this person test is not an integration test because um, when you check it in in Subversion, 
And then in Jenkins, it doesn't like integration tests, so it says it can't find any test classes, so we created a normal test class. Um, if you don't test it with Jenkins, you can also create the integration test. But yeah, for this test case, um, I'll show you without an integration test. So now, um, first we need a person facade. Um, let's call it p facade. And in the before, as a before all test cases, we need a, s a s setup. And in the setup, we say the person facade is a new person facade. So we initialize it. Person facade. Thank you. So um, now let's make the first test case. This is without mocking. So we can see why you should need it, uh, why you should use it. Um, it will show a completely normal test for create and update. Um, yeah, let's call it public void test one um, normal create in this we say oh yeah okay I see we will need a delete all because we will have to test if there's anything in the database so let's make a delete all you'll see why we need this um, Let's copy this, and then we say in the begin create um, no create query. Oh. And we say delete from person ASP. And afterwards, we will simply execute the update and then commit it. So this is the delete all. Now in the test class, we can say um, delete all as a person facade. Delete all. Now it should the database should have no persons in it at all. Afterwards, we can make a new person. Okay, one is a new person. And let's call it Alfred. Then we say the person facade um, create the new person. And then we assert not null. Oh no, let's import this. Huh? Well, doesn't matter. Let's say assert, assert not null, and then um, uh, well, wait a little bit, please. Um, we will take the person facade. And say get by key, and we'll make the get ID from the person. So we'll um, we'll see if there's something in the database, and the get by key we'll also have to implement, right? So let's delete this, and then we say the same always then we say I am um, uh, let's say person B is entity manager find person class and then um, we'll give the key we get with the parameter and then we can close it again. Let's delete this. It's crap. Um, 
and then we will return the person